morning all and happy Monday. I'm a little stuffed up this morning, which I don't know why it might be because I slept at the window open. <laughs> uh, it is week three of me making better and healthier choices. And I do feel a little bit more motivated this week. I meal prepped yesterday. I have like all my lunches made. I have some really good dinners that I thought of. Um, I have a healthy breakfast, so I just feel a little bit better. Now this week I do have, uh, me and Mike are going to the Poconos for just like a little romantic getaway. It's much needed. We haven't had much like alone time recently and things have been so crazy with both of our jobs that it's just like, okay, we need to take some time for ourselves. So that will be exciting, but also won't be hard to stay on track because like wine uh, and food. <laughs> so, um, we are going to go on Friday morning. So until then, I will show you what I'm eating throughout the week. Obviously I told you guys the doctor did not tell me to wait on lifting. So I'm just going to be doing a bunch of like, honestly walking. I love walking. It's one of my favorite exercises and I think it's so underrated. Um, so I'm just going to be focusing on getting in a lot of steps today. So, I will tell you what my steps are by the end of the day. Obviously, I walk up around 6,000 steps here at school, sometimes more. So, I'll let you know what I'm at at the end of the day. Let's do that right now, because sometimes it syncs up with my sister's watch by accident. No, okay, I'm at 836 steps for today, all right? So, I will check in a little bit later. I'm about to eat my eggs. I did not get any avocado this morning, so I'm going to eat Good morning, well, good afternoon, everybody. It is lunchtime, and I'm gonna show you one of the, my favorite meals, it's low in calories to have, high in protein. I just get frozen um, meatballs from Trader Joe's, and then I air fry them, and then I put about half a cup of rice in here, and then I top it with whatever topping that I want, but I like to go for like this Swedish like meatball kind of thing, so I'll either do like barbecue sauce, or, or sugar-free ones, or this is one of my favorites. Um, sh uh, sh I still can't talk. Sugar-free dipping sauce, sweet chili. Um, this is five calories for two tablespoons. So this is, I just, you know, kind of put this on top of the meatballs and the rice and it tastes delicious and it's good and it's different. So this is one of my go-to meals, especially for meal prep because it's literally so easy after you prep the rice and the meatballs. Just throw it in, heat it up and you're good to go. Top some sauce. So that is what I'm going to be eating for lunch and I am starving this morning. So excuse me while I eat. Well, it was a productive money, Mon Monday. Planned a bachelorette party, made two doctor's appointments, started planning a bridal shower, uploaded a YouTube video, made turkey chili, meal prepped my stuff for tomorrow, and even did a little bit of report cards during my enrichment time. That was my sock. <laughs> Saying goodnight to Mike. He's going to tuck me in, but he doesn't want YouTube to see him tucking me in. Because nope. <laughs> he wants to look like a hardo, not a softie. That's not why. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. I'm feeling mentally good today. I honestly haven't felt this, like, clear-headed in a long time. And I think it's because I got a lot of stuff, like, off my plate that I have to do, which makes me feel a lot less stressed. Um... I checked in with a couple friends today, which always makes me like feel good and like talk to them. Um, shout out to like Derek and, and Gina. If you're watching this, I love you all. Um, I just made some turkey chili. I'm sorry. This is a complete disaster. This is an absolute complete disaster, but I made turkey chili. I told one of my clients to make this this week. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to use that uh, recipe. So turkey chili for dinner. And then I'm about to hop on a Zoom meeting to talk about my sister's bachelor and bachelorette party, which if I get that off my plate, I honestly will feel like, <sighs> so let me go check in with them and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. I'm excited. I finally up uploaded episode one of this series and literally just went up, up today. Um, and I'm already filming week three. So it's like, uh -uh, let's see. Um, I'm probably going to step on a scale on Thursday or Friday morning to see 
you know, if I reeled things in, if I lost any weight, so I'm excited for that. I'm having my breakfast, which is four hard boiled eggs this morning. And then I'm going to have some dried mango as well. And uh, my mental health is feeling a lot better. I think it's because I have a lot of things checking off my to-do list, which is really helpful. Um, so I feel so much more or less, I still feel really stressed and like anxious, but I feel a lot less depressed, if that makes sense. Like I was really hard getting out of bed, like the last two weeks, honestly, like I'm not lying. Um, so I'm doing my best and I will check with you guys, with checking with you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, YouTube. It is 6.10. I just walked in the door. Look how exhausted I feel up for. Help me. I just walked in the door. It has been a long day. And I cannot wait to eat. I'm so freaking hungry. I am making salmon bowls tonight. I am also taking a rest day because it is pouring outside. And I will go on a longer walk tomorrow. But I'm taking a rest day. Um, I've already walked 10,000 steps, so I feel like that's pretty good. Maybe I'll do some, like, sit-ups or something like that and just take some time to decompress and focus on my mental health tonight. So, I'm going to make some salmon bowls. I literally dove into the turkey chili because I'm so hungry and I need to have a few bites of this before I make <laughs> my salmon bowls because I'm so hungry. But, um, just checking in. I hope you're having a good day. Oh my gosh, look how tired I am. But my salmon bowl is here. I got my salmon, my rice. Then I dip it with my seaweed. Perfection. Hi vlog. I am exhausted. I feel like that's my opening line. This series should actually just be called I'm Exhausted. Um, I am on a walk. Um, I love my walks. I truly enjoy walking as exercise. If you hate exercise, walking is one of the most calmful things that you can do. Like this is just so nice to me. Like, look, me and Char, like, it's so nice. Uh, so I'm going on my walk. I'm going to go home and cook dinner. Today has been a pretty good day. I feel like my mental health has kind of been coming um, to a better place, which is really awesome because I was struggling there for a little while. Um, I think I've made a lot of things that are on my plate have kind of been lifted off. So I'm just holding on tight and... <sighs> Hold it on tight. Getting through this. I will message you. Message you. I will vlog when I get home. Look at my bags. I think I need to get under eye filler. Should I make a vlog? Should I get under eye filler? Someone tell me in the comments. <laughs> Not having that quote unquote healthiest or cleanest meal tonight. However, Mike is stopping to get Caesar salad and we're going to have a little bit of Trader Joe's lasagna. This is actually pretty high in protein for one serving. It's 25 grams of protein, which is actually insane because there's only four servings in here. So you get a hefty thing of 25 grams of protein, literally can't be at 29 carbs, 15 grams of fat. Like those aren't bad macros at all, actually. Um, so gonna have a little bit of lasagna, a little bit of seeds of salad, and then I'm gonna go to bed for the night. I just laid down because Mike went to the gym after the walk and I haven't had a chance to relax in like, I don't know this feels it literally felt like weeks so this was actually really refreshing and i really liked it <laughs> it was really nice i'm gonna get an off i'm gonna keep these up too all right i'll catch you tonight at my bedtime routine it's night night time and we're doing our mindfulness card what's today babe uh today's mindfulness card is may i be well and it reads as follows we all want to be safe, healthy, and happy. So even if it feels a bit self-indulgent, reminding ourselves of this of this throughout the day is a lovely way to stay in touch with this basic desire. An easy way to do this is to repeat the phrases, may I be well and may I be happy to yourself. These wor words will cultivate a sense of self-care and can bring a feeling of warmth and kindness to even the coldest times. Try incorporating the phrases into your daily routine by re repeating themselves to yourself each morning when you wake up and each evening before you go to sleep. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be happy. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> you see what I love with? I love them. I need to use that. You do. Duh. <laughs>
Good night, good night all. Good night all. See and may you. and may uh you have a great night and a great dreams. <laughs> good morning vlog. This is the one time you see me with makeup on. Mike and I are going on a road trip today and I'm so excited. We're going to Jim Thorpe just for literally the night. We're doing a train ride. We're doing um, a hike. We're going to do like a winery and then dinner and then just stay in a hotel and come back early tomorrow morning. So I'm going to weigh in because I'm assuming we're going to be eating a lot and probably drinking a little bit. So I know I'll probably be weighing in higher but when I get back. So let's weigh in. I'm a little nervous. Let's get this over here. 184.8. So we did see a little drop in the scale, which is awesome. About a pound down. It isn't often that I feel like good in an outfit anymore, just because I feel like, <clears throat> but I feel good today. I have on these leggings that my best friend Gina got me for Christmas. I love these leggings. I'll have to find out the name for, for her and then I just have on this little crop top I'm gonna be putting a flannel overneath because we're going on a hike but I feel good today like I feel like curvy and like womanly and just like hey you know what I mean so holding through <laughs> pushing through got a wedding next weekend so good choices I need to clean my mirror I literally cleaned it last night I swear this one Windex like leaves horrible streak marks on my thing. Look at that, it's like dust. Disgusting. All right, I'm going to go put on the rest of my jewelry and my outfit and I'll catch in later. Hi YouTube, we're in Jim Thorpe. This is literally the cutest town. And we just stopped for a little bit of snack. I'm gonna like eat like a couple of these wontons. And then we're gonna go on a two mile hike. So we are very excited. And we just did a train ride and it was awesome. So we have a big day ahead of us. We'll keep you updated. It feels like we're going in slow motion. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube, Bob. Okay, YouTube, it's about 4 p.m. We've been on a two mile hike. We've been home, went, went and relaxed a little bit. It's about 4 p.m. And we just stopped at uh, Burger, Burger King. King for the new ghost pepper nuggets. Mike loves everything hot. I like things hot too. And we like to try like the hot things that are on the market. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. This is what they look like. They look good. Here you go, take one. We can, Thank we you. can try one together. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, hot. Was there like a sauce in the middle? No. Did you notice that? Whoa, it's hot. I've been mean, hot, like temperature wise, the first time. Yeah. They're very, like, actually warm, like temperature yeah. warm. They are spicy, but. They're spicy. They're nowhere near, like, true kind of ghost pepper in my opinion but they're almost like maybe a little undercooked because they're like a little honestly a little mushy yeah but like they're crispy i think they're just a little bit too hot right now i give them give them a, like a six or seven out of ten mm, yeah i would say six or seven same they're good if you like ghost pepper you definitely taste the ghost pepper let's try not very hot though. mustard Probably like, probably like maybe two notches up from a, a spicy Chick Fil A sandwich. Yeah, I would say. Like it's no, it's no hotter than like jalapenos. Maybe like a little bit hotter than jalapenos. Jalapenos. What do they call them? Jalapenos. They call them jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you saw it here first. Spicy nugs. Not spicy nugs. Ghost pepper. Not that worth it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> well, YouTube, this vlog has been literally all over the place. Yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday. When I tell you I did not get out of bed yesterday, I literally did not get out of bed. I had the, literally the worst migraine all day long. Um, woke up this morning, felt a little bit better, but still like super fatigued. But then, started crying pretty hard because I'm getting like these symptoms with my eye my migraine where this eye swells up and goes super blurry and it's just like painful and it's scary so then I started freaking out thinking like 
maybe this isn't just like simple migraines. Like what if I have a brain tumor or MS? And so it was just a little bit of a rough morning. I'm feeling much better though. Look at my carpets. I mean, they walked on now, but I literally vacuumed them. Not just vacuumed them, but then went over them with a steamer. So everything is super clean in here. And just like, I feel good. And I'm meal prepping right now. And that's what I really want to record. I want to record my meal prepping. I'm making an egg bake. And then I'm prepping some chicken for lunches for the week. I have a wedding this week. So it's a very busy week. Wednesday, I need to get a spray tan. Um... Thursday, I have dinner at Gina's house because her and Dave just bought a house. So she's showing off her house. And Friday, I have rehearsal dinner staying over with my best friend, Derek, because he's the one getting married. And then Saturday, I have the wedding. So it's just going to be like a very crazy, crazy, crazy week. I'll show you my dress and everything that's going on this week. I'm taking it as easy as possible with this migraine going on. So working out isn't going very swimmingly currently. Um, but let me show you what I'm making. It is an egg bake, so it's not obvious that the eggs aren't in there yet. I have mushrooms, all kinds of peppers, onions. I usually like to put spinach in here, but I completely forgot at the store to get spinach. And I am going to throw in just a little bit of turkey bacon for some extra protein and a little bit of cheese for some extra taste. And then I put eggs in it and I bake it in the oven. So I will show you what it looks like when it is all done. Happy Sunday, y'all. I have my news thing on. It's time for me to go to bed and begin another week. Uh, I hope this the vlog was kind of all over the place this week. This upcoming week is going to be a very busy week. So I'm going to vlog as much as I can. But bear with me. But I will see you guys soon. Like three months until I'm 30. I uh, weighed in this morning. I have officially lost two pounds, which is very exciting.